To me, innovation means the ability to figure out the big ideas and turn them into something. These big ideas need to be vetted out really to ensure they have significant impact to companies, products, or services. And if I add the word sustainable to that, it really means about having a process that occurs over and over, right? Um, of course, the random big idea that may occur every five years has value to a company. And yet that's just not enough to be successful. You, you have to have a continual innovation process every year. I believe innovation has always been important. Perhaps why it's increasingly gaining importance is competition. You know, certain industries, there is more competition than ever before. And the pressure of beating your competition, I would say to the finish line is very high. Um, because if you don't make it first, you may not ever recover that lost market share. And then you have these com competitors that are invisible or, or they blindside you. You know, years ago, you would know competitors' names, where they're headquartered. You would probably even have some insights about them what they were doing next. But with digital transformation, you get blindsided. Take the Ubers, the Airbnbs of the world, who seem to come out of nowhere and take the market by storm. So I, I believe competition is one big reason. Innovation is just a must for companies and is increasing the importance. You know, first I would say, make it a priority, just like any other big initiative, dedicate the people and their time to do this process. And as I mentioned before, I, I think innovation is a continual process and you need to plan for that as part of your strategy. Second way to make it a reality is focus on the people doing it and the process they follow, meaning the people selected should be collaborative, able to work together, generate ideas off of each other. And yes, innovation should be a process. Um, it needs to encompass how to harness all those great ideas and how to throw out the bad ones, how to start with lean thinking to vet out the best ones and be willing to stop the not so good ones. Um, often I see confirmation bias. Uh, they say, you know, where it's, oh, I want that to happen, and so they just make it happen. But the goal is actually to stop innovation projects that aren't worth doing. So it's not a failure to stop. It's only a failure if you keep going. The barriers that come into making innovation a reality is overutilizing people, having team members work on two complex projects or 10% of their time, it's just not a good environment for innovation to take place. Um, so, so I believe planning for people's time again is, is one of the barriers that would allow innovation to take place. I would also say culture is one of those big areas. Um, I'd love, whether it's trust, respect, patience, name the word that describes what prevents people from sharing big ideas and be willing to fail. And it's those barriers that look for them in order to remove. Meister Plan is a portfolio management tool. We, we, we put the people at the center of our planning process. And, and what that means is you plan for where you want people to spend their work based on the priority and where your strategy needs to take you. So it would be ideal to put your innovation projects alongside your tactical projects so that you can actually see and make sure people are going to work on the things you feel are important. And I help customers across the country 
um, think of this as they are working towards their portfolio of projects and think through how do they allocate their time? Where do they put their time based on the strategies they wanted to solve? I've seen companies do this very well. I've seen where they've dedicated people to this innovation area and they make it a priority. Where I see it fail is that it's ad hoc or they don't put enough thought into the guidelines of what starts, what stops, um, and they don't plan the people's time. They overutilize their teams and overwhelmed people don't have a lot of creative thoughts. Yeah, experts is a term I would use for those that know the business, know an area of the business. And you need people that know the business to think of those next big ideas. Of course, I always think having some challengers as part of the innovation team is good. Um, they don't know it as well. And they ask a lot of qu questions um, to make people think. But the experts are people, subject matter experts, that you are making sure are not overutilized in a lot of tactical ways when you want them to innovate. I believe it's ambiguous in some ways, um, yet there is very good articles, very good research, and very good consulting groups that can help you innovate if you're feeling stuck. Um, why I say it's ambiguous is every company looks different, every team looks different, what you're trying to innovate about is different. And I think if you put people in the right skill sets, those experts that are collaborative, that bring out good ideas from each other, it, it really is a key factor when, when thinking of innovation and the process is second. What's your guidelines to vet out these projects in a quick way? Um, take lean thinking, vet them out quick, fail quick, stop it quick let the other ones keep moving forward. I believe so. If you had an environment that felt stopping these projects, even after spending three months on it was a failure, then people tend not to want to take many risks. And so that's that culture that you're, you're working towards something greater and you're going to have steps that aren't walking you down the right path. And, and again, the success factor there is being willing to turn around and say, it, that one's not a good idea. Let's, let's go back to the drawing board. It's a mindset for sure. Lean thinking, quick understanding what things are going to work and then continue to vet out the ones that look very plausible.